test. Hopefully I've lowered the engine sounds and the sounds of the game enough that you can hear me now. It's still pretty loud in my headphones though, so... Oh boy. Off into the wilderness we go. Okay, you've got a warning from the race director for cutting the track. Try and respect the track limits, keep it between the white lines. I will try and respect the track limits, but, you know, things happen. So hopefully, this is just a practice slap in this uh, Mercedes AMG SLS GT3 car. Say that three times fast with a mouthful of crackers, eh? So we're just going to do a lap or two around here just so I can see if you can hear my voice intelligibly. Uh, I'm using Project Cars on the PlayStation 4, and I'm using the Sony silver wired headset with a mic on it. And just doing this quick commentary as I raise. I'm hoping that... And I'm going to cut the track again. You've been given a second warning for cutting the track. Oh no, I've been... The track limit, I've been given off. a second warning on a practice lap that I'm doesn't really matter. It's just me blasting around the track, Mr. Crew Chief. Uh, there's a great app called the Crew Chief that gives even more annoying information, like when there's a car on your left or right that's attempting to pass you, and things of that nature. Oh boy, I should have slowed down a while ago. Okay. Thankfully there was nobody trying to pass me since it's only me on the track right now. Otherwise I probably would have panicked and cut the track again. Oh wait, this is a race. Wow, I'm just in last place. That's why there's nobody around. I guess while I was setting up this... I guess the race started while I was setting up the stream. Oopsie! Don't I feel a fool. We'll be deleting this one after we uh, listen to see if it's working. I think I'm gonna keep the stream going and just do this race again. I could have swore I hit to do a practice run which now makes a lot more sense why the pit chief is breaking my chops. Oh boy, oh boy. Yo, I didn't go off the track. Almost went off the track there, but hey, you know. Hopefully I'm not yelling into the mic right now. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Oh yeah. So, this again is just a test, hopefully I'll be able to hear my voice without any clipping and without all the yelling. I think I'm going to need to lower the, the in-game audio a little more. I, I, I really did not... Uh, work out too well with this race, obviously, because I was busy setting the stream up. I had already hit race, which was a mistake. Once again, this is Project Cause on the PlayStation 4. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to reduce the volume just so I can hear myself because it's... Oh, cut the track again. Thankfully, I have the uh, penalties off. Otherwise, I'd be disqualified by now. This is the final lap of the race. See if you can take that guy in front of you. Otherwise, just bring it back in one piece. The guy in front of me is probably in the is in probably in the the paddock already. Finished the race. Oh boy, we're gonna cut the track yet again. Yeah, it's uh, off track. Cut track.
Get off the rail, dummy. Pardon me a second. As I said, I think I'll just keep this good stream running. But before I start the second race, I'll get everything all set up. And I'm going to lower the volume a, a little more on the uh, main volume. And I'm going to lower the volume on the motor a lot. There's no reason you need to hear the motor screaming, trying to drown out my voice. Yeah, we're gonna get a message. Yeah. <laughs> That'll teach me to not pay attention. Setting up the uh, the stream, we pretty much got slaughtered and put into last place. Oh yeah! Wow, I didn't end up into the third uh, clause. This lap should be almost over. This car handles pretty good. I have to say, I can handle this car pretty well. Oh boy. That was quite a dust cloud I spit up. trying to set up my live stream console on my iPad and I'm getting an error so I may have to reboot the iPad before the next race. You guys can hear me, but since I can't get the control pad panel open on the iPad, I really don't know if anybody can hear me on that. I hope you can. And like I say, I'm gonna take a minute of a break and uh, try and sort out the issues. Wow, I actually stayed on the track. And this is finally the end of this race that I wasn't paying attention to. I thought it was a... I thought it was a... test race or a test lap and foolishly... I foolishly did not... Uh, work for the race gonna restart the ipad return to race central i'm gonna do this same race again but i'm gonna go back into the uh settings and lower the the um engine sound a lot and i'm gonna lower the main 
mess the volume a bit too. Hopefully that'll help with my headset so I'm not screaming over it so I'm not blowing your eardrums out and uh, so that you can hear me intelligibly. So let's go to audio, lower the master to 50 and we're going to tell turn the engine audio down to 40 which hopefully between these two should should cut things down and I'll make the sound effects 80 percent so we should be plenty we should have plenty of clarity now alrighty And uh, please hold a moment. Uh, we're still having issues with YouTube. YouTube. My other set of pedals just fell for some odd reason. I'm going to try logging back in. So please give me a moment. Okay. I think that may have fix the issue. Give me one second. Click in live stream. And the live stream says it's offline. So let me just check and make sure I am streaming still. Yes, I'm on the air. So I don't know why this says I'm off the air. And we're going to wait a second before we hit that. Let's hit that. All right. Alrighty. It says we're offline. I don't understand why. Let's try doing that. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if we hit it. What happens? Mad Mohawk Gaming is streaming now, yet it still says that I'm not streaming. Okay. Let's restart that. Alright. And browse the full. The Mazda Raceway, Nergeberger Ring, Ulton Park, Road America, Sakito, Silverstone, Snetterton, Sonoma Raceway, Watkins Glen, which if I'm not mistaken is here in New York. Let's see, streaming options. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I cannot seem to get it to come up. But, uh, oh wait, let's see. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Day. I was in the wrong tab. I'm going to go back to uh, Zuhai, Willow Springs, Zolder. I'm going to go back to where I was, which was Le Mans. And we'll go back to Le Mans. And hopefully we're still in the groove here. It says we've been live for 10 minutes. Before I start the race, I'm going to uh, slate in on it. And... Uh, Turn. I'm going to uh, in. Oh, we have. Oh, I don't have the buggerly bugger slate out. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I need to set the time delay. My apologies. 
My apologies. Advanced settings. Recording automatically. There we go. Added delay, 30 seconds. Save. So, hopefully the screen doesn't bug out too much right now. Let's turn monetization on. Monetization is now on. And so, we're going to slate in it once again. And hit... On. And so... We're going to slate in one uh, rate and out slate out, but yet we still can't insert an ad. That's odd. Slate in one uh, rate and okay. At least I can hear that the mic is working. The mic is working. And there is the ad while the screen loads. The mic is working. There is the ad while the and, uh, screen Let me turn this volume off so I don't hear duplicates of myself. I'm going to leave it up for a second right, just so I can hear the engine noise. Hopefully you guys are not picking this up. Testing one, two, three, four. 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 Okay, it sounds like we're good. Trying to mute the volume and race. There's always an interesting idea. I don't know what they're driving, but oh my, I'm off into the woods already. Thanks for the help, bud. Oh boy. But we're up on them, we're gonna lose third if we don't keep attention come on let's draft on these guys I think we're all in this Mercedes and uh, while they're really like taking off I may have to do some tuning on this project cause I hope you guys can all hear me now I can tell you my headset is no longer blowing my eardrums out with engine sounds. Try and stop this guy getting underneath you. Cover that inside line. Yeah, he's far enough back that I'm not that concerned about it. Oh, but that could be a bad idea. Especially if we do that. Oh, this is going to end badly. Okay, come on. All right, let's knock that out of the way. And we're in last place again. We really need to <coughs> not deal with the, not really deal with the live controller while trying to race. In fact, I think I'm going to cut this and restart since we had that little issue. Let's just kill this. Exit. Exit. Stage left. Heavens to Megatroid, even. My apologies for that minor issue. And, uh... Hopefully... In a moment, we'll be good to go. I think we're going to try a different car here in Le Mans. Let's try the Mitsubishi Lancer. This is more my speed. Them rocket ship cars really... I, uh, I like racing, but sometimes I can't handle the quick reflexes. I don't have the reflexes I had when I was a kid. Hopefully this isn't too horrifyingly boring. Been going about 19 and a half minutes. 
I've got the uh, public view playing on my uh, iPad in the uh, control center of YouTube's streaming system. I don't know if you guys just got fed a commercial or not, but hopefully you did. Hopefully that's working the way it should. Ooh, this is a nice black Mitsubishi Lancer. This is a car that any, almost anybody can afford. Unlike those two race green, cars. Green. Okay. Oh, we jumped off the line pretty good here. We got a pretty good lead going, which is shocking. I guess that's what happens when you, when you don't miss what you're doing. And you actually pay attention to the race. So, hopefully we don't make a fool of ourselves in this little rinky-dink car. This is essentially a street car on the track. Oh, 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 don't slide out. Don't slide out of control. Okay, so, once again, this is Project Cars on the PlayStation 4. I'm using the Sony Silver Wired headset and its built-in mic. I have the volume on all the game volume turned way down so I'm not blowing my eardrums out or your eardrums out. As well as the fact that having the volumes down a bit. Uh-oh, oh my god, I'm gonna get yelled at. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I cut the track. I lost a lot of my lead just then. But uh, hopefully this sounds pretty good. Hopefully you guys don't want to string me up for all these uh, false starts with uh, streaming these races. A little later I'll probably do some streaming in Drive Club and maybe if I'm not exhausted by the time that's over with hopefully I'll oh boy oh boy oh boy I just cut the track again that's our second warning for cutting the track be careful yeah. otherwise we'll get pulled off the track yeah I know and I'm bad at the uh, I'm bad at that I get uh, carried away and don't slow down fast enough and end up cutting the track because I cannot make the turn fast enough and I end up sliding right through. Pay attention. And we're going off into the woods again. This could end up causing us to lose our lead completely here. Oh boy, there they are right behind us. Oh, not too far. Not too close. I see, uh almost two second lead still although the numbers on the screen are a little hard to read oh, oh, oh get off the grass dummy yep you would think with the driving line on I'd have a little less issues okay holding on somehow oh we're gonna hit the wall oh boy that's never never gonna be a good idea okay we're in third we're losing a lot of ground here okay I don't think we're gonna make that up either but we still have a whole nother lap to make that up although this lap I think is nearly done I like this Le Mans track I could not imagine doing 24 hour race here. After an hour, I'm exhausted. Okay, stay on the track, thank you. Uh, 
24 hours of this would would cook my brain even with rests and and switching drivers and so forth oh 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 stay on the track you big dummy all right i think we're about to uh start lap two so far so good oh boy we got a bogey on our tail okay we cut the track again just then hey at least i didn't cut the track there yep here we go about to start the second lap of this race this is the final lap of the race see if you yes. can take that guy in front of you otherwise just bring it back in one piece I'll do my best, Mr. Crew Chief. I lost a lot of traction there. Now the key for me is to not get overexcited trying to take this guy and bury myself in the weeds. I just have to take my time and catch up to these guys who passed me, if it's possible. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think those long, long races like I did yesterday and the day before are better? Or two, three lap races that are over in five, ten minutes? What do you prefer? Please let me know in the comments below. Because honestly, the uh, the long races are very exhausting. So if people prefer the if people prefer the uh, shorter races like this one's going to be, it's uh, certainly better for me. And I can do more races with more different cars. Uh, this. Mitsubishi Lancer. I see I'm catching up on him. I'm gaining some ground on him. I may actually catch him at this next corner if I break a little late and don't lose it. Oh boy, I'm breaking really late here. Oh crap, into the wilderness I go. Come on. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I know I was in your pro pro your perfect lane there, but slamming into me was not a cool idea. And yes, this is against the AI, and obviously the AI was just out of its mind. It's like, hey, there's a car in my way, but I don't care. I need to be there. I mean, humans, oh my god, into the wilderness I go. Let's see if I can stay here. Okay. Oh, he crawling right up my butt. Oh, my car's all mashed up too. Well, at least I'm in, uh, I'm on the podium if I don't screw up again. I'm way behind the two, behind first and second place are, uh, have a really, really good lead on me. Oh, you dirty bird. Oh, and panicking is never a good idea. Because this is what happens when you panic. You, and you forget, you're worried about first and second place and you end up in fifth place. Oh, thanks, buddy. Well, you crashing me uh, put me ahead of you, two dummies. But had this been uh, had this been a real race, I would have just been disqualified for cutting the track the third time. 
but this is uh, this is just me having a little fun. Hey, I didn't end up in the weeds again here. There's a plug. It's funny, I was playing Assetto Corsa last night, and when I set up my uh, Alfa Romeo GTA for, uh, for racing, I had it all tuned up so that it didn't feel like I was driving on oiled glass anymore. But of course, I didn't save the preset, which it lets you do, it lets you save it as a preset. And then, uh, and this way you can load that in for next time. But of course, when I let, took the game out of the PlayStation, it deleted that memory. Eh, not too bad. I'm on the podium, third place. I mean, I could be better, could be worse, but so. Let's return to race central. As I say, this is the AI. And maybe we'll do one or two more races. Just so I can review this and see how it sounds. Hopefully I have the engine sound loud enough that you can still hear it over my jabbering voice. But not so loud that you're being deafened between it and me yelling over it. I'm going to try another car here. Pardon me. Eh, let's mess with the uh, Mercedes 190E. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I can't exit. I was going to lower that to one lap. Uh, these races are uh, about nine, ten minutes. I'm going to slate in. Insert Ed. Slate out. So you should be seeing a a quick message while this loads. That's another benefit of these shorter races. Perfect places to add ads while the load screen is on. That's an interesting call. Okay, let's get a nice clean start. Control the wheel spin, watch those mirrors, and we'll see you on the other side. Wow, this Mercedes is loud. Even with the volume turning way green. down, um, I'm half deaf. I had to pull one side of my headset off. And I'm already in third place somehow. Oh boy, pay attention. I didn't so cut the track that time. Race. Come on, seriously? I did not cut the track there, man. That was still in the uh, in the track. You guys are you guys are cheating me this time. The last couple of times, yeah, I definitely cut the track, but that time I think I'm being crooked here. Right. Let's see if we can do better than third this time. This Mercedes handles pretty nice. And again, it's the stock setup. I haven't really changed anything on this setup. I essentially just loaded it in and went, let's go. 155 we're maxed out at. That's not bad. I'm going to have to start slowing down here a little bit. Don't go up into the woods. Oh, part of my lead just got burned up there. Well, I guess they got burned up too on that uh, turn. Uh, this Thrustmaster C80 wheel only has paddle shifters, and it doesn't even have a clutch paddle, so. I guess paddle shifters is not really uh, that big a deal anyway. Okay. Huh? 
Come on, let's, let's follow in his footsteps and get our ponies running so we can catch him. Thus, Master Wheel has no force feedback, so it's very similar to back when I first started uh, doing these sim races in Gran Turismo, which some people say, well, that's not really a sim, but whatever. That's, uh... Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much for use, letting me use you as a pillow. Uh, so back to what I was saying. Let's see if I can stay, keep this sleeve. Back to what I was saying uh, within Turismo 5. My first wheel was a Logitech Driving Force Wireless. And you would put it in your lap. It didn't even, ha it had no pedals whatsoever. It had paddles, which you would think would be like for a paddle shifter, but that was the gas and brake pedal. Ooh, he's trying to take back first. Imagine that. Ooh, whoa, 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 no, no, no. No. Bugger me old. I almost ended up in third there, because I went off into the woods. And I'm about to go off into the woods That's again. Oh boy, don't... Don't get a third warning, please. Oh my goodness, we're still on the first lap. I didn't even realize that. I thought we were at least in the second lap already. Wow. I've been screwing up by the numbers here. Trying to maintain... Guy Cover that inside line. Hey, I held on, but I lost third, and even fourth is trying to get on my tail here now. All right, let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is not going to go well. Yeah, 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 out of bounds. Yeah, I would have been just disqualified. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, now I'm in fourth. I am messing up by the numbers. And it's... There's only one more lap to this race, so I may not even get into the podium. Let's see if I can grab him. Come on, 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 come on. Catch this guy. I like his darker blue better on this car than my light powdery blue. So the uh, driving force uh, wireless wheel had no force feedback either. Oh boy. Sorry, buddy. Oh boy, where are you going with that? Oh boy. I took one guy only to be replaced by his cousin. Oh boy, I just cut the track yet again. That would definitely have been the disqualification, and I didn't even get out of the first lap yet. Oh wait, no, yes I did, okay. I do not foresee placing here. I mean, fourth. Eh, I don't think I'm gonna catch this guy in front of me. It seems unlikely. But let's see what we can do. Again, I haven't done anything to this. This is the PlayStation 4 version of Project Cars. By the way, if you guys have the Xbox Live, uh, I believe from February 15th to uh, March 15th, in Xbox Live, you can get Project Cars for free if you have an Xbox Live account. So, if you're an Xbox user, go check that out. I believe it's for Xbox One only, but I could be wrong about that. So, I mean, you can get this game, it's pretty, pretty nice sim. And for free is always a nice price. I guess it's partially to drum up uh, interest in Project Cars 2. Ooh, we just went off the road here. Come on, get back onto the road. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
I don't see us catching him. I think we're going to end up fourth place. Again, unless we screw up by the numbers in this case. Things could go far, far away. But as it stands right now, we're, uh, we're on track for doing... Uh-oh, don't. Okay, no, that wasn't part of the plan. Okay, come on. Get your car straight, buddy. There you go. You want to go straight if you want to race. Sliding sideways around the track is not the way to do anything. But these cars are such groups that uh, any little oop and uh, you're uh, in trouble. Yeah, there's one on my tail. Oh my god. Okay. Somehow I held on to that. I don't know how. Still holding on here. We got a gang of cars next to us. Get off the grid, dummy! Grid is really not your friend, so that's like a wet road and me blindfolded. You don't want to hit me, do you, buddy? Don't go on the grass, please. Okay. Had a little bit of bumper cars there, which is not very nice, but what are you going to do? This guy really wants to push me out of force, doesn't he? Okay, don't cut the boot track, please. Gonna be close. You guys, oh, maybe not. I guess I got fourth place. Okay, not too terrible. So, fourth place, not the end of the world, but let's try one more and see how we go. Try a different car again. Maybe something a little more sedate, like a uh, Renault. Maybe the Renault uh, McGain 265, RS 265. Do one more race. And I'm going to change the track also because, honestly, this is a little too long. I want to do a quick race. We've been going for 43 minutes already. So, let's get it on. Let's go with the Donington Park Club and uh, I love this car. used to be one of my favorites in Gran Turismo 5, although in actuality I can't really handle it. Let's take the Renault Clio for a drive and have a good time at the Dubai Autodrome, 2.57 miles, I believe these two laps is less than the one lap of Le Mans that we were just on. So this should be a little bit quicker race. Hopefully you guys are still with me. Hopefully uh, you are enjoying yourself. I'm taking a quick look here. And uh, we have a good feed. It says... I better start paying attention now. When I come back later in Drive Club, I may try my Audio Technica green, green, HDR green. Go, go, go. 2500 USB mic plugged directly in, and it has a spot for a headset. So I can use that nice 
large diaphragm, well, it's not really a large diaphragm, but it's a, a diaphragm condenser mic. Too bad. See, this thing's not quite the rocket ship that the other cars are. Oh, don't lose it, buddy. This is more of a street car and not named Desire. It's not named Stella. Half of you are probably going, oh, pay attention to where the turns are, dummy. Oh, yeah, that's always fun. But drive off into the wilderness and crash. Alrighty. So far we haven't been yelled at by the crew chief that we've cut the track, which is a miracle in and itself. Okay, see, like I said, there's a much quicker track. Uh, You're on the final lap. Yes, we are. Two laps of this. And it's all, we've done the second lap already, and it's only six minutes or so. Oh boy, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, dummy? That probably cost me a lot of the lead. All that brake feathering. Let's make this here turn, okay. We have a healthy lead here, a little over a second. Imagine that, a race in the second lap and I still haven't been yelled at by my crew chief that I've cut the track, or from the race director as it were. Well, there's a whole gang of cars coming after me, but there's still a reasonable amount behind me. And this race is over! Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. So, what do you think? I'm gonna do uh, this race one more time since it was such a quick race. We'll do it in the Renault Clio. Why not, right? Hopefully you can hear me pretty good. Once again, I'm using the PlayStation 4. This is Project Cars, obviously. Uh, on the Xbox Live right now from February 15th, 2017 to March 15th, 2017. I believe in the Xbox Live, you can get this game for free and enjoy it, seriously. You can get it for free, so why not? Uh, we're using it on the PlayStation 4 currently. We are using the Sony Silver headset. It's a wired headset with a built-in mic. Best 26 bucks I ever spent. Uh, when I come back later, I'll probably use my Audio-Technica condenser mic, which is a much richer sounding mic. Not that this one sounds terrible, I'm sure. Let's see if we can do a twofer green, green, with the green. flow, go, go, flow go. 3D cars. You'd think that uh, driving a Chevelle with a 454 in it, I'd be able to handle the faster cars better, but somehow uh, I'm out of practice, I reckon. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. They're on us, but they're not on us hard yet. So 
So far we're having a pretty sedate race. Although I almost lost it right there. I would have been screaming, where's the beef? Oh boy, they caught up on me. Because I'm messing around a little too much here. But, oh, I guess I pulled away a fair amount now. And that's lap one in my pocket. Again, these are I AI drivers. One more lap to go. So they tend to play bumper cars with you if they get close enough and you're in their line. They don't seem to care that there's already a car in the in the uh, the drive line. They will just wipe you right out to get to it, which is a little messed up. But then again, it's at least it's not malicious like some of the drivers on uh, online. Come on, take that turn. Don't lose it. We have a pretty good lead here. I mean, the pack is up on us, but not. not so fearful that they're right on top of me. You're leading by one second. Try and I'm leading the by one can. second. Yeah, well, driving off into the woods is not going to help that idea. Okay. So, uh, of the three sims or games, but Drive Club is really not a sim, I'm told. It's more of a game. Uh, although it is probably one of my favorites, Drive Club, and we're going to take the checkered flag without a problem. Uh, Drive Club is my favorite, believe it or not, and um, this year Project Cars is my second favorite. Oh, you know what? Let's put one on with random weather, just so we have one more cause. I don't want to go yet. I'll, I'll figure I'll give you a full hour. Why not? One more race in the Clio, but with uh, weather effects turned on, should make it a little interesting. That's one of the things that I really love, uh, one of the real things with Project Cars that make me like it more than Assetto Corsa. Assetto Corsa's weather effects are very basic. The weather effects in Project Cars are pretty incredible. It's uh, pretty much, okay, let's go with uh, three and we'll make, let's start the race clear and put two randoms and we'll put the weather progression at that. Oh, you dummy. Pardon me. Okay, we're going to take the Clio around the Dubai Autodrome Club, 2.57 miles. It's located in the United Arab Emirates. There's 11 turns. I wish there was a an indie track on here. You know, well, not really an indie track. More of a, day, a um, NASCAR track, a big oval. But from what I understand, there's an issue with the AI going completely nuts when it comes to ovals. So, what are you going to do? So let's go. I'm going to put my headset back on so I can hear because this car is not nearly as loud as the Mercedes 190E was. Green, green, green. We got green, green, green. Green mean go. This Clio is uh, it's a nice little car. You don't see many of them in New York here. At, as far. Then again, I really don't pay that close attention, but... I think you see more like Alfa Romeos and Fiats, especially that Fiat 500. That you see a fair amount here in New York. The uh, Alfa Romeos you see to some extent. Oh, don't don't brief this turn. Come on, come on. We we had a good run. Oh, he's trying, he's trying hard to be. To be not my friend. Come on. Oh, 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 oh,
He's really up on me, and it's raining. And I'm gonna be a Looney Tune and not switch my tires to rain tires. I don't think it's worth it for two quick laps. And the time spent in the pits would probably mean the end of me being anywhere. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. there we go. So here's lap one. We have a a little bit over a second lead already. Is it phenomenal? No, of course not. But it gives me a margin for... Uh, gives me a little bit of a margin of error. So if I screw up on one of these turns and beef it, at least I have a chance of staying in the race. When race is real tight, tight. Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy. See this wet surface of the track now? Make you slide right out of control. Like this, in fact. Oh boy, sorry. Like I said, if you're in the race line and he wants to get there, they just... Oh boy, I'm going off into the wilderness. I'm surprised I didn't get yelled at by the race director. Oh boy, I'm really losing traction here. Yep, I'm going to take second. We beefed that turn and lost the, po the uh, first place. Not that that's the end of the world, really, but hey, you know. Yeah, we're only at 57 minutes. But uh, Project Cars 2 is going to uh, add snow like this, which that, that should be uh, an interesting thing. Uh, let's try one more. I think there's a Ford Escort RS 1600 in here. Let's take that little rocket around the track and I use the term rocket loosely it's faster than I can run and probably somewhere a little faster than that Renault but I don't know how much faster love this 49C Cosworth all right, Ford, 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 Ford. Here we go. We're into the Fords now. Mustang, Focus, Falcon, Escort. There we go. And this will be our last race for sure. And let's get it on. We're going to stay on the uh, Dubai Autodrome Club track in the United Arab Emirates. That was a tongue twister for me. I just got out of work a little while ago, and yeah, I'm a bit tired. But what are you going to do? Time waits for no man. So this will definitely be our last race. We've been on for about an hour. Try to take a break for dinner and then jump in and drive club. Ooh, white and green. Now. Let's get a nice clean getaway and Not hold that pole. Not yummy. White and green is definitely not yummy. Unless there's uh, pistachio ice cream involved, maybe. Okay. Okay, this uh, Ford Escort is a little slidey. Oh, we just cut the track. Come on, really? Behave yourself. The race director is going to spank you if you don't be nice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're going to beef it. We're beefing it hard because of the slicky... 
Oh, we're beefing it so hard. That's our second warning for cutting the we track. We are beefing it so hard here now. Such terrible beef. Eighth place, not the end of the world, but so much less good than I expected to do in this race. Still have another lap to catch up, but that's a lot of places to catch up. Especially in the rain where slipping out of control gets so easy. It looks like the sun is out, doesn't it? Or like it's just a little overcast. I think we took seven back. Yeah, we're in six now. Although he's right on my tail. Don't go out of control, you big dummy. Oh no, we're beefing it. We're beefing it around that pen. Oh yeah, we would have been disqualified in a real race. Oh yeah, and he just took 8th back, or 7th I should say. Alright, come on, stop beefing it, man. Oh yeah, big, big, oh, big beef. Big time beef. Let's, let's play bumper cars here, shall we? Okay, we're in pretty much last place. Well, not quite last place, but see this, we should be able, oh my god, where are you going? Oh my god, this car is... I'm like, I deserve to be in last place after that little episode. Oh yeah. 14th place, yay! That was pitifully nonsensical. That's not the way to end a stream. No, not at all. We're going to have to do another race without the beef mobile. Because obviously we can't handle all that raw power of the beef mobile. Does anybody here watching remember Captain Beefheart? Come on, you remember Captain Beefheart? As well as the new riders of the Purple Sage? All right, let's try one more race. Yeah, there we go. The Cataram Super... Super Light 500. Or maybe we should use a Beamer. Let's see, we got a regular Beamer here somewhere, right? Yeah, let's try the M1. This ought to be pure beef or pure joy. Because BMW is a driver's car. Which means we're going to give you all the rope you want to hang yourself with. But uh, hopefully we don't have such a pitiful showing. Otherwise we're going to have to go back to the Clio. Because we cannot end the stream on such a pitiful performance. Yes, we were in the rain, but seriously, 14th place out of 16. If it was 14th out of 50, I wouldn't be complaining as much. The 14th out of 16 is pretty pitiful. Oh, this is pretty good. So, personally, I would prefer something uh, green, green, green. purple or dark blue. White car, really not my thing. So far, we're uh, doing pretty good. And the weather is clear, which will be helpful to my beefy but do that. Let's see if we can. Oh boy. Oh, this handles. Nice. Oh, we almost lost it right there in the beef. Okay, come on, beefy. Okay, I'm glad to see that he didn't tell me that the race director wants to eat my. Oh, where are you going, dummy? And the beef begins. What are you doing, beefy boy? It's Beefarino. It's not even raining. I can't even blame it on the rain. Where am I going? Okay, we've got a, a race warning from the race director for cutting oh, the track. A warning? Need to respect the I track was, keep it I on was the pretty much making Beefarino just then, man. 
6th place. Ooh, and we're beefing it hard. Okay, we're gonna kind of drift around that turn a little bit just to keep the beef to a minimum. Yes, I'm using beef as a term of screwing up big time. Maybe we can catch him on this turn if we slow down a little late. Yeah, we got him. Okay, we pushed him into the beef zone. And... Oh, we late. We too late on that beef initiative. Oh my god, come on. Get this control under control. We just dropped another couple of decibels here. Oh, we just beefed the right... Yeah, there's the race director. That's our second at me. warning for cutting the track. Be careful, otherwise we'll get pulled off the track. Yeah, I'm just. Oh my God, Beefarino! Hello, Beefarino, is that you? Oh yeah, Beefarino. We're back into the uh, end of the pack. Oh my goodness, why can't I hold this car steady? Oh, I. Oh yeah. Bank me in the nose and call me Shirley. Come on, I'm beefing it to the left and I'm beefing to the right. Okay, this is this is not a good showing at all. I'm gonna have to try one more time. Did do slightly better than before. 13th place isn't quite as bad as 14th place. It's still not all that good, especially considering. I had a screaming lead, and then I just totally dropped the ball, man. All right. And the most pitiful part is these are AI drivers, so... Green, green, green. Me, go, go, go. Me just, like, going off on the ozone. See if we can get these tires a little more warmed up here. Are you kidding me? Alright. Okay. Don't, 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 don't. Come on, keep it. Keep it together, man. Keep it together, man. Oh boy, that's not keeping it together, sliding out of control. What is, what did they oil that section of road, man? Cause I'm like, losing it every time over there. Come on, hold it together. I think I'm gonna, take the new name Captain B Park here. Steal that from the old band from the 70s and 60s. Oh, come on. Somebody got an oil slick on the track here? What happened? Okay, well, at least we're still in the first half of the pack. Great job out there, great move. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me I beefed it. The race director just said, stop beefing it. And here's my favorite part of the track, where I completely lose control of the car. For some reason, it's like the car has got a mind of its own. Okay, I held it together. Okay, the, gre the greasy zone. I kept it together. I will not cry with sixth place. But that looks like sixth place is going to be it. 
certainly much better than 14th or 13th place. Seems uh, as uh, we went on, I was beefing it more and more. So I'd say that's about it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed watching. I certainly enjoyed driving, even when I was screwing up by the numbers and driving through an oil slick, even though there was no oil slick there. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's our secret. But I had a good time. Hopefully you did too. Please come back next time. Maybe back in an hour, an hour and a half after uh, we eat a little something. Tonight's cuisine is courtesy of both my partners, my girlfriend brought me some pea soup and my partner at work was kind enough to bring me an alu pie which if you don't know what that is it's kind of like a caribbean kanish think trinidadian so i'm gonna cut it off right here have a great night bye for now from the mad mohawk onagiwahi This broadcast will be stopped.